If the State Department and the U.S. government in general holds Bashar al-Assad responsible for killings that happen in Syria, if you hold Maduro responsible for what's going on there, why, when asked, does the Secretary of State say it's a political football and not hold Kim Jong-un responsible for the death of an American citizen? I'm, I'm not quite tracking what, what It's from the hearing the yesterday. He was asked if Kim Jong-un is responsible for the death of Otto Warmbier. Uh, he wouldn't answer, and he said it was a political football. Wh why? Uh, I think we've been on, we've spoken out about these, uh, that tragic incident repeatedly and often from, from the United States government, um, and but there, if, there's if nothing other... to add beyond that to, at this point. And so I wouldn't go beyond what the Secretary said yesterday. We're also very much now in a time of trying to move forward. Um, uh, and this is a matter of, uh, you know, nuclear proliferation. And it's something that we are focused on to protect the American people. And, uh, and, and be, for that reason, it's important for us to remain engaged on these issues uh, and, and attempting to move this forward. So is I'll it, the, is it, it does the State Department believe that Kim Jong-un is responsible for this? That's not, no? That's not what I said. That's not what I said. No, no, I, I asked on. you, does the State Department believe he's responsible? We have been, we have been a, explicit in our human rights report. We've spoken out about these topics often. Uh, the Secretary has spoken about as well, and I'm not going to go beyond that at this point. Please. Well, is there a concern that if you do, <clears throat> if, if you or the Secretary or some, uh, any other official in public says that you believe Kim Jong-un is responsible for Otto Warmbier's death, that somehow that might, that will hurt the diplomacy that's going underway? Because it seems to me that it's a pretty fairly straight, it's a straightforward, logical assumption. When the Secretary gets the question and he says, we hold the regime responsible, hmm. and then you ask who leads the regime, and that would be Kim Jong-un, it, it seems to, you know, it's a syllogism, right? So. Kim Jong-un leads the regime. The regime is responsible. Therefore, Kim Jong-un is responsible, right? How, why is that so difficult for you guys to say? You, you, said, it, you said it. The re, re, regime is possible. And I, I have nothing further to add. It doesn't mean anything that I said.